Good day, YouTube. Like the... Yeah. I do the thumb and gun. <laughs> Good day, YouTube. That's a little excessive. Welcome to another episode of the Albino Rhino Beer Review. Special guest, Jean Paul. <clears throat> we have a beer that was given to us by Chris when we visited him in Philadelphia. Uh, it's the Yards Brewing Company of Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. It is a Saison, which is a farmhouse inspired ale. Uh, it's a Belgium style. Uh, Saison was made for. Seasons. French for seasons. No, it's not. Saison? I'm pretty sure. <laughs> Anyway, <laughs> I'll look it up. <laughs> oh, you're one of those. <laughs> Just talk amongst yourselves. It was one of the. It, it was a beer that was brewed for the summer months to keep the farm hands hydrated and happy. So and drunk. <laughs> it's a six point five percent alcohol. I know historically it wasn't that much, but hey, let's give it a shot. To take some words from Keith, give it a shot and see what we got. Yes! Give it a shot and see what we got. Yes, give it a shot. See what we got. Pour me some beer and shut the fuck up. I will fight you. <laughs> My dogs and me will take you on. Look at that. See, French for season. And it's the name for originally, it's the name originally given to low alcohol pale ales. Well, that's what it was. Seasonally in farmhouses in Wallonia, the French speaking region of Belgium. Look at you. I know yeah, my like, beer, I don't know my French. No, that's good though. <laughs> No, that's awesome. <laughs> Knowledge like nobody knows. Anyway, this that's that's cloudy like my white beer should have been. I would been. say that's cloudy. Mine is cloudier than yours. Yeah, is it not? Yeah. Am I wrong? A little bit. Not little much. Bit. Not much. Um, nice golden color. Yeah. Almost looks like a Molson product, except it's cloudy. Yes, except for the cloud. Canadians will not stand cloud. They will not abide a cloud. Mm. It actually smells like the white beer. It kind of has like a citrusy zest to it. A little bit of sweet malt. I smell the sweet. I don't smell the citrusy zest. I don't smell any zest. I don't get any hops on the nose. Oh, oh. Jean-Paul's into it already. <laughs> I couldn't help it. It's I. Is it I? <laughs> you know. Again, man, it's so goddamn sweet. Like, why do people want to make sweet beers left, right, and center? I think he's crazy. You don't think this is sweet? I get mostly bitter, but I'm getting the back end more than the front end. I can see the sweetness at the why very end. What, what makes you say you're getting the back end more than the front end? I'm getting the, the finish more than right when it touches my tongue. Like, it's soft. Get crisp at the same time, but I can taste the sweetness. I know what you're talking about. Soft there at the beginning. Difference. But once I swallow it, it's not it's not sweetness I'm getting as much as the bitter hops that are coming forth. I can see that, like at the end, towards yeah. the back end for sure. That that's what I'm getting more than the front. I know what you're talking about with the sweetness. Okay. I'm just not picking so it's it not up. The as much. It's not yeah. that I'm crazy, it's more that yeah. you yeah. see exactly what I'm talking about. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nah, sorry. The first beer was good. These last two beers have kind of sucked. <laughs> this one kind of sucks. Now, no, I shouldn't say it sucks, but I don't like it. <laughs> I like that it's a higher alcohol percentage. I like that it's trying to get that that genre of beer. I like that it's a, a craft brew in America doing its take on this style. Uh, truthfully, I've never had a beer from Belgium or from France or from anywhere in Europe that was this style that I liked. I don't mind this. I don't like it, but it's not bad. Very hoppy on the background. I get some yeastiness too, like sour yeast, like proofing dough, if you would. Proofing dough. Proofing dough. What's proofing dough? You know, dough that's proofing. No. Proofing's when the yeast rises. <laughs> is that what that is? Yeah. Alright. I did not know that. I could drink it. I could enjoy it. I don't think I'd buy it. If somebody bought it for me, I'd drink it. 
But me, myself, I wouldn't buy it again. Yep, just like cocaine. <laughs> <laughs> I would give a Yards Saison a, uh, a 6.5, just below. That's the lowest I will give, that's the highest I'll give something that I won't buy myself. Seven and up is what I'd buy myself. I would give this like a see because you said six point five. I'm gonna say five and a half. I know I would have said five, but I'm gonna give it a five and a half because uh, I don't like it. And if somebody gave it to me again, I would drink it. Why? Because of its obvious effects. But you know, I don't know. I'll, I just I'll be honest. Uh, a lot of things that I drink is because I'm a drunk. But uh, <laughs> <laughs> it, it's not bad. It's not good. It's a good representation of the style. That's, that's really all I have for it. So, 5.5, 6.5. Thank you for watching the Albino six, Rhino Beer Review. Average. Good beer drinking to all of you. I'm glad he's doing the averages for us because you know math. It's and so easy, man. Just out of two, it's so easy when you do it out of two. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> bye.